Right. Hi, everybody. Hello. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. I'm nice Aiko. How are you? Fine. I wanted to congratulate you on the birth of your third daughter. Fuck oh, yeah, total chaos. What does it feel like to be the man in the household? The greatest thing is coming back home from being on a trip like this, mm -hmm. and you open up the door, and all you hear are these little voices going, Daddy! Like, they're so excited when you come back home. And, um, you know, I'm like, I'm like a toy at home. They like crawl on me and they jump on me and I'm I'm the really active, fun dad. And they're still at that age where they jump on you and are not embarrassed. Well, they still by like me dad. too. Yeah. I mean, they still like I'm. I think I'm just starting to embarrass my oldest, Violet. Yeah. I'll do something. She goes, Daddy. It yeah. seems that you've been busier than oh, ever. I don't sleep or relax or take vacations at all. I never do. They're overrated? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure that they're fun. I just don't have time to fucking do it. <laughs> you know, I have projects and I feel more inspired now than ever before in my whole life. And I have all of these great opportunities. It's hard to say no to things, you know. If I have an idea for a TV series, um, I feel obligated that I have the opportunity and resource to do these kinds of things. So, um, so I just do them. Over the last 20 years, we've been all over the world, but it's always a day here, a day there. We never really get a chance to get a feel for the places that we're in or what they have to offer. One of the things you wanted to do with this new project, Sonic Highways, was make a map of the American music. Yeah show some of the history of all these cities. But I thought it would be interesting to put a band in a different environment, something a little more challenging, and see how that would influence the outcome of the music. Not only going to eight different studios, but eight different cities. But we tried to choose cities that we had some sort of personal connection to. And I would use Seattle as an example, that I tell the story of the city and this crazy studio. The studio is the last place where Nirvana recorded. It's this strange underground studio north of the city. And not long after we recorded there, Kurt died. And I didn't want to make music anymore after Nirvana. And time went on and I thought, wait a minute, music's the one thing that's going to help me start over. It's going to help, it's going to heal me. So that's what I have to keep doing. So I went back to that same studio and recorded again and my life started over again. So that becomes the theme of the episode. The hook of the whole idea is that you see the band in a local studio putting a song together. Maybe instead of going, could you click in with the feedback like, <laughs> I thought if we go to each one of these places for a week, a week is just long enough to get the energy and the pace of the city, and the, that like by osmosis, it's gonna happen. And I'm interviewing all of the most uh, recognizable people from each city, and some that nobody knows. At the end of each week, the night before I had to do my vocal, I didn't have any lyrics at all. I would take the transcripts from each one of these interviews and I'd highlight words and phrases and ideas and I would take those and I'd put them on this side of my journal page and on this side of the journal page I'd have the outline of the song and I'd just sort of like put them together to turn it into something. You are also going to look for new impulses when you take this on the road. You know, as a live band, what we love to do is to um, the audience is like the sixth member of the band. You know, it's important for us that there is that connection with the audience. But uh, when you come see the Foo Fighters, you know, we 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 don't disappoint. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> but wait till you see what we're doing for the next record. The next record, that's some fucked up shit. Because I already know what we're doing for that, and that makes this look like fucking kindergarten.